Do you have a favorite vampire book or do you like reading about vampires? I always have for as long as I can remember. Probably the first vampire book I ever picked up was, I want to say, Interview of the Vampire by Anne Rice back in the day. Ever since then, I've always kind of loved reading books about vampires. It's always interesting to see, you know, like when authors have unique spins on them and whatnot. And so recently I read the book Our Own Unique Affliction by Scott J. Moses and it is a vampire story. It's unique in its perspective and it takes place in current times and just how comparatively like the human perspective on life and then the vampire perspective on life. Strange, unhealthy, not symbiotic relationships between the humans and the vampires for certain ways of survival, we'll say. So this story it was really well written. I received an ARC from Dark Lip Press and they're an indie publisher and they have a slew of fantastic authors and books that they've been putting out. And honestly, like all the books I've read from them that they've been putting out have been awesome. So I thought I'd check out this new one by Scott J. Moses. And it was a great vampire story. I absolutely loved it. It was a five star read for me. It follows the story of these two sisters, how they're living their lives. And then it gets into this like weird, almost hallucinogenic state of like, remembering how they were turned and what happened and the memories of like family and prior and then coming back to the future. What is real? What is unreal? Like how do these things work? It's a trip through the memories of one that has forever been changed. If you were to live forever, how would that affect you? It's an emotional and dark journey of the life of a vampire. Like think about that. If you live forever and in order to survive, you had to consume the blood of the living. Keep your dead bones rattling around, I guess. I don't know. Scott J. Moses puts like this unique spin and perspective on the traditional vampire story. It's sad, it's gruesome, it's emotional, and it's pure unabashed life experience. If you are a vampire, that is. It's beautifully written in this like entrancing style with hallucinative writing and it's got these dreamlike qualities that intersect with reality and the unreal meets the real. The writing was addictive, it flowed really well, I read this in one sitting. It's a novella, it's short and it's sweet and it just really gripped me. In recent times, it's probably one of the best vampire books I've read. This one definitely stood out. And the cover too, I mean, look at it. I love like that black and white vibe. I always think it's so cool. It's probably another reason I really love black and white photography as well. But if you like vampire books, Our Own Unique Affliction by Scott J. Moses is absolutely awesome. I absolutely loved it. It's a novella, so it's short. The perspective of it, and there's one part towards the end that I was just like, oh, <laughs> but I, I will not say anything about what it is. It's good. It's real good. <laughs> we'll just say that. If you're looking to give some more love to some indie authors and some indie publishers, I try to do at least a few indie books a month to not always go with the mainstream and whatnot. So love for indie authors. I love discovering new authors. And as I said, Dark Lit Press, I'll put a link to them down below. They have a lot of fantastic authors that I would never have heard of. I follow them on social media and like peruse the stuff. And this was a great one. Highly recommend it. So if you had fun hanging out today, hit that subscribe button, come back, see me again, and we'll talk about more bookish things and weird stuff.